And immediately following the president's address, we're hearing from Oklahoma's lawmakers in Washington, D.C. KOCO's Abigail Ogle here tonight with us. And Abby, so what did our delegation have to say about tonight's State of the Union? Well, Jess, these responses are just rolling into the newsroom. Oklahoma's delegation, all Republicans, took issue with several things in Biden's speech tonight. The border wall, Ukraine, even abortion. Let's start with Congressman Kevin Hearn, who called the speech, quote, a complete disaster. It sounded like Bernie Sanders wrote the speech, and then they sprinkled in a little President Trump talking about funding the police. President Biden said that we need to build a border wall, secure the southern border. I don't know what universe he's been living in, but he's the one that defunded the wall. Fixing the issue in Ukraine and the dependency of Europe on oil, and he's calling people around the world to fix the oil crisis that they're having, the energy crisis, and we could fix it just from my home state of Oklahoma. With the Supreme Court sitting right in front of him, uh, he said that Roe v. Wade is under attack and looks right at the Supreme Court on that while they're in the process of actually debating this issue. I would tell you for the Supreme Court, they need the latitude to be able to make this decision based on the law, not the president trying to be able to bully them during the State of the Union address. I hear a, a lot of words, but words are cheap. When we really want to get to it, how are we going to get back on track? Because the track that's been left is disastrous. We've seen crisis after crisis after crisis. So you can give a good speech if you want to. You can read a great speech. Um, but what are we actually done? I mean, we have a border crisis going on, the highest illegal crossing that we've had in in decades. Inflation is at a 40 year high. And we are also just getting in a response from U.S. Senator Jim Inhofe of Oklahoma, who just announced that he will be resigning at the end of the year. Inhofe said, quote, even though President Biden didn't acknowledge it once, not even to commemorate the 13 American service members who lost their lives in Kabul on August 26th, no one should forget the rushed withdrawal from Afghanistan that left the Taliban stronger than it was on 9-11.